Someone, sir, who tracks uh, you know, space journey so closely, you know the technicality of what's involved in a soft landing on the moon. How challenging really is this mission? Well, it is a very challenging. Soft landing is very difficult. See, in, for the Mars missions, we call it seven minutes of terror. Um, the battle here is um, uh, you have to slow the spacecraft down from a very high velocity to something where um, it can survive, the delicate electronics can survive the landing. Mm. So for the Apollo mission, I think it was like, uh, rain, the velocity was a few feet per second. So here, that is the challenge. Imagine you're dropping a suitcase from a building and then it has, when it touches the ground, if it's above a certain velocity, all the camera inside that suitcase will break. So, so it's a very challenging thing. And you know, this is uh, uh, done mostly, it's an automated, Thing. You can have a response system, but you cannot manually change a lot of parameters uh, during the descent if something was off. So, mm. so it is reasonably chal challenging. So, so of course, it, it is, it's a hard thing to do. Uh, I'm sure you saw what happened to Chandrayaan 2, uh, which is that it very successfully reached to the moon, which is why we don't really call it a failure here. It was partially a success, partially a failure, because only the soft landing, Dr. Ghosh, wasn't accomplished. Right. Do you believe that you know whatever right. went wrong there has been fixed in this particular case in Chandrayaan 3? It's very difficult to see that. Um, see, see, here the game is, you know, if you're 99% successful and one percent not successful you know you did you don't get the data right so it, mm -hmm. it kind of has to be 100 percent successful so whether the problems have been fixed you know it is like if your car was not working and you took it to the garage and um you you hope that the problems are addressed sure. and it's a little more difficult than the garage because you are into this unknown parameter set mm. so you don't know a lot of parameters right so it is you're, so the reason these spacecraft missions are so hard that you have to make a very judicious choice of parameters and then if it was outside that envelope, you have to mo have an automated system which corrects and uh, and still keeps the spacecraft safe. So I would assume that things have been taken care of, but there is no way to 100% know, and particularly being outside the mission team, right? If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.